right, what's up? So, like I said before, man, I do a little research on my phones, man. Like I said, they got my calendars all the way screwed up. I'm assuming that March 14th indeed was a Tuesday. And the 15th was the following day, the Wednesday. But I don't know. 14th could have been a Monday or a Tuesday. But like I said, they have my calendars compromised on my mobile my mobile devices. Just like, you know, today is May 16th, not May 15th. Do with that information whatever it is that you would like to do with it. But um I go into the housing court this morning and I'm looking on the walls. These Nazi faggots then took the cameras down. Like they're really trying to cover their own asses because they know they screwed up. This is a, a, a state courthouse. You're not about to tell me, bruh, that there's no cameras in that building. Whoever said there isn't any cameras, you need somebody to take a brick and smash you right in your teeth with it. You need someone to take a baseball bat and hit you dead in your face if you're telling me that there was no cameras. That's, 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 that's ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense. I go into the court, and like I said, they done took the cameras down. But, um, my original housing court date was, like I said, March 14th. So I go there and mysteriously, that court is closed that day. But I look through the windows, there's people in the court. I look through the doors, look real hard, there's people in the court. I saw people walking around in the building. Oh, we're closed because of the weather. No phone call, no email, nothing. But y'all closed. But mind you, the child support court right next door, open. People lining up to go inside. The big, big superior court on the same street, on the other side of the street, open. People lining up to go inside. The criminal court slash motor vehicle court. The street over. Open. People lining up to go inside. I think I took pictures or I recorded or something. I don't know. But there was people... Going into those courthouses. Anybody that's watching the videos, you know what I'm saying? Comment and let me know if you was out there that day. Like, because this is crazy. But anyway. um, I go the following day. Um, I go the following day. March 15th, I'm going there to drop off some paperwork to the clerk, right? I'm on the phone with them that morning. Mind you, and the phone call from the clerks is still on my call log. So it's not like I'm BSing about that. I get there, whatever. And these two Nazis... At the front. One little short, fat, stubby little Dennis the Menace. Little faggot. And then he got his little boyfriend. 
Nazi, a little taller than me. They standing there, they talking, whatever. I think I was doing something on my phone, but I'm doing, I'm putting my stuff in the little yellow buckets. So, little Dennis the Menace faggot, home starts snatching the bucket out of my hand. Now, that's the first red flag, because dude was confrontational with me off the rip, and... I'm like, I don't even know this homo. Like, what's wrong with you? Feel me? Like, what's your problem? So, I'm telling him, like, sir, I don't need your assistance to put my things inside of the bucket. I can do that just fine. Oh, well, I'm going to help you. What? Dude, what's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Make a long story short, me and these dudes have words. So they tell me to leave. Now I understand if I didn't actually have a court date that day, but the fact that I already spoke to the people inside of the clerk's office and I told them that I was bringing some documents pertaining to my housing matter. Technically speaking, I have a reason to be there. So it's not like I was trespassing. And that's something that these faggots are probably going to try to say that I was doing. I wasn't trespassing. Um, they're telling me to leave. Whatever, I'm grabbing my stuff. I'm getting ready to leave. So I'm trying to call the clerk to figure out how I could still get them these documents. Um, the little Dennis the Menace flamer, this faggot out of nowhere grabs my left arm and this is the shoulder that's dislocated. Mind you, I got confirmation from a doctor at a hospital that confirmed that these faggots made the situation with my shoulder even worse because of the gay shit that they did that day excuse my language um i catch an assault charge because the other nazi that was there so they had to tussle with me because a nigga was not nah, I, I getting on the ground I wasn't getting on the ground so when they finally did get me on the ground the little dennis the menace faggot all he could do is just continuously twist and bend my bad arm like a faggot. The other dude, he's trying to choke me. Feel me? He ended up punching me in my face twice and he punched me in my lip. I got pictures of that. But the reason why I catch the assault charge is because when he tried to choke me, I bit fire out of my own finger. He lucky I didn't bite down harder and rip his finger off at the base. I should have did that. I really should have did that. The rest of their little butt buddies came. These dudes tussling with me. Like, dog, I just bit you in your finger, and you still trying to wrestle with me. He ended up getting headbutted in his head, too. Like, dog, get away from me. Feel me? So, like I said, when I go into the court this morning, I'm noticing all of that. And then my public defender, she going to tell me, Oh, the investigator is going to take a look, but I don't think there was any cameras. So that means you're in on it, too. By you even saying that to me, you're in on it, too. And I dare that lady to say, I didn't say that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, she didn't say that. Mm hmm. Go ahead and say you didn't say that. I dare you. But, yeah, I'm going to let y'all later.